All right, so part two, we essentially have iron and thiocyanate, which becomes iron thiocyanate. Now, we have very little iron, and we have a ton of thiocyanate. So this is going to push the reaction to the right, which means that any iron that we started with is going to be how much iron thiocyanate we have. Now, this iron thiocyanate will have a certain absorption, and we have different concentrations of iron, which will therefore give us different concentrations of iron thiocyanate. So we take that concentration of iron thiocyanate, and we plot it on this absorbance versus concentration graph. You should have five values. So your five values will kind of be linear. And then you can draw a line through those values. If you know how to do this in Excel, that's great. You can plot those values in Excel, and Excel will automatically find a good line for you to fit to. Um, okay, so that's part two. We just basically can, we just make our graph. Now in part three, we're going to basically be trying to find the value of Kc. And so that value is equal to products, or our, or our iron thiocyanate, divided by our reactants, which is iron and thiocyanate. Now we're going to have to use an ice table to solve for this because it's not because as we lose some of this, we're going to be forming some of this, so it's not an it's not an easy to solve problem. So you'll need to do an ice table. Okay, so basically now that we have this part in part three, we're going to be given absorption values. So using those absorption values we can find where on the graph we would expect to have that concentration of iron thiocyanate since it's a nice linear uh, problem. So that will tell us how much iron thiocyanate or product we have in our reaction. So then you, we can find iron and we can find thiocyanate from M, using M1V1 equals uh, M2V2. Okay. And so from that, we can then find our Kc value. Does that kind of make sense? Yeah. All right, and if you have uh, transmittance, you just need to use the equation absorbance equals the negative log of percent transmittance over 100. And that's how you convert into absorbance. Questions? Did that explanation make more sense this yeah, time? Yeah, it did. All right, good. Maybe I'll post that one.